is the swim team in the building. What up, baby boy? <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. Um, the time right now is 8:10 p.m. Up and down. Up and down. The market just opened. The market opened at like six o'clock on a Sunday. Um, I don't trade on Sundays, even though I. Oh my God, I'm still in that trade from last week, and I'm gonna be real with you. Based on based on what I'm seeing right here, I think it's in my best interest to cut my losses. So I'm actually gonna cut my losses right now. I think that'll be the, the best bet. That'll be the best thing for me to do. Hold on, so, as you can see, I just closed three trades, which leaves me at $38. So, if you wanna learn how to trade Forex, right? First thing you gotta do, is something that you can do for free. Now, you can pay money, and get people's courses and all that you can do that but what you can do is you can actually go to this website I'm gonna show you the website don't mind my boy Roy Jones out here getting it in but you can go to this website babypips.com I'm gonna actually put it in my um in my description so let me close this out so you can go right here to babypips.com right and it has like these are the courses so it has these lesson plans for you um it goes from preschool all the way up to like college and it tells you the basics of forex like it tells you everything everything you need to know to get started it tells you the only thing it doesn't teach you is the psychology like i was saying as to why i usually lose trades you feel what I'm saying? So, my advice to you, I'm gonna post it in my in the description. I'm and you see it right here, babypips.com, so you can learn how to trade the basics of forex. You know what I mean? I seen in the comment section somebody had said, "Oh, another YouTuber with a get rich quick scheme." For me, this is not a get rich quick scheme. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not promoting. Nothing now I'm telling you to go ahead and get rich quick. I'm promoting something that Actually, I'm not promoting this shit at all to be honest with you I'm just giving y'all a bit of my life and how I'm trying to change my life So whether you want to join me or not, that's on you. Like I said, um I'm just trying to make myself better. But anyway So what what we usually do on Sundays or what I usually do on Sundays is mark my charts up so this right here was the trade I was in that I just exited out of. It started going up to the upside. I'm pretty sure what it's going to do is go up right here. And it might hit this resistance again. But at this point, bro, the way you are USD acting with me, I'm done. Okay, I'm I'm done. I don't want no smoke. It's just It just doesn't make any sense. You see they have different time frames, right? So you have the daily time frame. You have the four hour, the hour, the 30 minute, the 15 and the five. So the way I usually mark the charts up is I start off with the daily. So you see these blue lines right here. I don't know if y'all can see them blue lines. Those are my support and resistance lines. So resistance right here, support right here. Um, I actually got to do something too because like certain joints is not major support and not major like resistance or whatever. So I got to put a different color for those. But what when i mark these up it tells me potential points where the market could stop for example um i had marked this right here this part right here where the mouse is at i had marked that was that june i marked this a few months ago and i want you to watch how and you go over here and you see that it stopped right here so this is why it's important for you to mark your charts because it gives you like a it tells you exactly where price might stop and have some problem breaking through so when i did this this was a uh, resistance 
right then price went down then it went up it broke the resistance went up went up went up then came back down and that resistance became support remember this uh, support can become resistance resistance can become support if price break resistance is gonna come back and retest it and now it's support okay I hope that don't sound like Spanish to y'all but anyway so it came down boom hit support went back up came down uh, hit support again went back up so right now it's in the process of going back up so we is either it breaks this or it actually just comes back down so now once we got that on the daily we go to the four hour and it kind of gives us a better understanding of what's going on okay so right now it's looking like it's not really breaking this resistance you know what i'm saying so we're just gonna watch this man we're just gonna watch this trade for the next couple of days so as you can see we are at we are at 38.79 we were, we started off at 30 we got to 50 and we end up losing eleven dollars, pretty much. But the way the way we doing it, the way we gonna do it is compounding. So tomorrow, hopefully, I don't really trade on Mondays neither, because you know you gotta give the t the market a chance to like set up and do what it's gonna do. But tomorrow, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually try to um see what's going on. But Tuesday, we definitely in the market. You know what I'm saying? And we we gonna. We're going to try to make $3.80 per day. If we can make a little bit more than that, we can go for that. But we want to actually trade how you're supposed to trade. You feel me? You're going to go small. And hopefully by the end of the week, we, we're going to make back that $11 that we lost. And, you know, we're going to go from there. So we're not trying to take major L's, okay? Squad, I hope, I hope that... Y'all learned something today. Remember, support can become resistance. Resistance can become support. Babypips.com. If you want to learn how to the basics of Forex, go to babypips.com. I'm not going to tell y'all nothing that you got to pay for because I ain't pay for nothing. Everything I learned, I learned for free. All right? Everything I learned, I learned for free. Like... I don't believe in I don't believe in paying for for education, bro. I'm sorry. I really don't believe in paying for education. I don't I don't I hate the fact that colleges cost an arm and a leg. I hate the fact that stuff like this that can give you financial freedom be costing an arm and a leg. The people with the knowledge take advantage and they want to charge you a whole bunch for it. I dislike that, but it's none of my business. Make your money how you got making money. Alright, alright, swim team. That's the video.